Horns up and welcome to another episode of Bacon Tarka. My friends, today we're going to be baconizing a dish that is fit for a king. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then you're probably thinking biryani. And not just any biryani. If you're thinking the biryani I'm thinking about, then we're thinking about mutton biryani. Yes, proper dum biryani. And we're going to baconize that today. What you know about biryani, boy? Probably as much as I do. I don't know squat about biryani. So my daduji is going to tell me about it. What's biryani, daduji? Biryani is a delicious preparation of rice and meat, layered and cooked on a slow flame to get all the flavors. Biryani can be made out of vegetables, chicken, mutton, fish, beef, practically anything. Biryani is different in different regions. For example, there's a Lucknowi biryani, there's a Hyderabadi biryani. They're all made differently. Talking about the real origin of biryani, well, I don't want to get into that space right now because I really don't know. Adik jankari ke liye aapko Wikipedia ka sahayta lena padega. Well, that seems legit. Now we know what a biryani is. So to make our bacon dump biryani, you got to bring out your biryani ka handi. That's basically a heavy bottom saucepan which we're going to use to cook the biryani in. And we're going to start by layering our pan with some bacon strips. So just layer the bacon around evenly. And what's going to happen is we're cooking this biryani low and slow. So the bacon is going to cook for a long time and it's going to flavor the entire biryani. It's going to be delicious, trust me. Next, we're going to add in our marinated mutton and potatoes. And if you check the video description below, I've given you all the ingredients for the marination. Or if you feel like, just watch this video here. I've already made this before. Remember, demanufactured mutton biryani? So we add in the mutton and the potatoes. And just spread that around. We want to distribute this evenly. Next, we add in our half-cooked rice. So now to finish off our biryani, we're going to put a little bit of ghee over the rice. And this is more for flavor than for anything else because we have enough oil and fat from the bacon. Next, I'm pouring some milk in which I mixed a little bit of saffron. And this gives it a lovely color and flavor as well. Some more aromatics with a little bit of keura. I have no idea what keura is. But just a few drops, not too much because it will overpower everything else. And a little bit of Shahi Biryani Masala or Shahi Biryani flavoring. I again have no idea what this does but I was told it goes well in. A few drops of that and it's done. Next, we sprinkle on some bacon dust. And to know how to make it, click on it. Next, we add some fried onions. And trust me guys, this is the stuff, fried onions. And I fried this in the bacon fat. So it's got extra bacon flavor. And finally, a little green with some fresh mint and coriander. And that's it. Now it's time to cook this biryani low and slow. So now our biryani is cooking on a medium to high flame. And we're going to cook it till you start to see steam coming out of the handi. So the biryani has been cooking for about 5 to 7 minutes now and you can see there's a lot of steam coming out of it. Now it's time for us to put it onto a frying pan or a tawa. Turn the heat down to low and cook it low and slow for about 40 to 45 minutes. So I'm just going to take this off the gas. Put my frying pan on. Turn the heat down to low and put the biryani back on. There's still one more thing to do. So now for the final step, I'm just going to take some regular atta and cover my lid with it to seal in all the flavors. And there you have it. Mutton dum biryani baconized. I practically eat biryani at least twice a week 
Biryani to me is chicken biryani every Sunday because that's what like I'm a Punjabi so in my house it's like a tradition every Sunday afternoon chicken biryani and I love it. Mutton biryani is fucking mad dude. It's the shit. <laughs> I actually enjoy biryani, mutton biryani especially. I, I just like, I'm a food fan I like biryani a lot because it's like a one pot dish. I think bacon in anything is awesome. If you put bacon in a fucking salad, I think that's the best shit ever. Like I've never really put it in like, I've never thought about it. So I'm excited about it. It's very metal man, it's like you have pig plus you have goat. So it's like a completely metal biryani dish. I'm just trying to think of the flavors but I'm drawing a blank. Never tried something like that. It sounds incestuous. I don't know. It just sounds a little wrong. But I'm willing to try it because food is all about pushing boundaries. I want to eat more of this because this is like really nice. It reminds me like of a bacon fried rice with Indian flavors. You can taste the flavor of the mutton and then the bacon just comes and overpowers it and just kills your head. My god, that's really good. That's so good. Like things are happening in my mouth that haven't happened before. This is fucking sex, man. <laughs> oh shit. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that episode of Bacon Tarka, Bacon Mutton Biryani. Who would have thought, huh? Make sure you give our videos a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, I really do hope you make this dish at home and you can share some pictures of your creation with us on Facebook. Also, we have t-shirts, Bacon Tarka t-shirts. Check them out on redwood.in. So till next time, cheers and keep cooking.